Oh. <laughs> oh, no. For some people. Um, if my outfit didn't make it obvious, I don't have any straight male friends. Um, which is fine because I feel like moving past them as a culture. You specifically. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish I had a straight male friend. Um, just so I could do fun straight things like um, go to Buffalo Wild Wings or, you know, participate in a circle jerk. <laughs> but, Straight guys don't really want to be my friend. I think it's because I hold my wrists like a T-Rex who's carrying too many groceries. <laughs> or maybe it's because I dress like a gay toddler, who's to say. <laughs> it's fine though, because I love being gay. It gets me out of doing all the things straight men have to do, like driving and math. <laughs> the only thing gay men are expected to do is quote Mean Girls and disappoint our fathers, <laughs> both of which I do regularly. I am single, um, which I know must be hard to believe given I'm a solid lesbian eight. Um, <laughs> I date a lot though. I've actually gone out with 50 different guys. And I know it's 50 because I turn every single guy I go out with into a four crux. <laughs> so you're gonna have to kill a bunch of white guys like Dan if you wanna get rid of me. <laughs> I've recently gone out with a lot of international guys and they're all from like the coolest places. Japan, Italy, South Korea, Worcester. Um, and I kind of like to think of myself as the gay Ellis Island, you know, just a friendly port of entry, open to everybody. <laughs> or maybe I'm more like Epcot, just an American destination full of international attractions. <laughs> You're probably thinking I'm a big traveler because of all my international interests, but I'm not. I'm from a middle class Irish Catholic family of six. My mom's idea of Asian cuisine is adding soy sauce to rice pilaf. Oh. <laughs> One time, my little sister asked me how many Koreas there were, or I asked her, and she said three. Because, you know, North Korea, South Korea, and Korea, Korea. <laughs> I was the only one who knew she was wrong. <laughs> In her defense, though, I can be a little bit ignorant, too. Uh, recently, I went out with this gorgeous Harvard MBA student. He looks like a racially ambiguous crush remarks. <laughs> and he had this beautiful accent, so I asked him where he was from, and he said, guess, which is never a safe question to ask an American person. <laughs> so I just panicked and froze, and he's like, all right, I'll make it easier. Somewhere between Turkey and Iraq, which, plot twist, did not make it easier. <laughs> because now I had to pretend like I knew where any of those places were. <laughs> I didn't because I am a white boy from suburban Massachusetts, not a fucking cartographer. <laughs> I only just learned that there is a country called Georgia. Um, every time I saw a headline, I was like, Russia and Georgia tensions rise. I just assumed Putin was feuding with one of the real housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> Probably Teresa Judah. It's like, you colluded 19 times! <laughs> uh, anyways, long story short, I guessed Chris which I guess is nowhere in your Lebanon. Uh, I did suck his dick at the end of the date though, so we all know who won that one. <laughs> you probably think I'm a slut because of that joke, but I'm not. Um, I actually approach sex a lot like an Adele album. I do it once every four years, and I make sure everyone involved cries. <laughs> okay, so, I'm excited for Halloween. reflect the reality of the world more than the news. I mean, you got Michael Myers, Ghostface, Hannibal Lecter. You'd never see that many white killers on Fox News. Oh. <laughs> 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 if horror movies were more like Fox News, every movie would be set in a Planned Parenthood, and the killer would always end up being Hillary Clinton. <laughs> or like Greta Thunberg. <laughs> uh, gay representation in horror movies isn't great, but does it need to be? I mean, Trump's president, gay rights are being repealed, Jenny McCarthy is still on TV. <laughs> we don't need to be featured in a horror movie. We're living in one. <laughs> and honestly, I think gay people wouldn't like horror movies as much if we were in them getting killed off because, let's face it, 
The main reason gays watch horror movies is to see straight people make bad decisions and get punished for them. <laughs> horror movies are like Willy Wonka for gay people. <laughs> My favorite horror movie is It. I think it's spooky, heartwarming, campy, and it's full of a lot of great life lessons. Like, trauma is cyclical. And that phrase, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, it's bullshit. Because Pennywise can turn into a giant spider and snap a kid's arm off, but the moment he's called a bitch, he's dead. <laughs> Verbal bullying works, people. <laughs> I love Pennywise, and we actually have a lot in common. Um, we both hate middle schoolers. Um, we both enjoy a good sewer. Our teeth could be called suspicious, <laughs> and we both try to kill Bill Hader. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I never try to kill Bill Hader. Jessica Chastain, on the other hand. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am 26, and um, my body is not what it used to be. I mean, when I was in high school, I could shop on a pizza and then run a 5k. Now I take cums recreationally. Um, in college, I could chug an entire bottle of wine and then wake up with no hangover. Now I take 800 milligrams of Advil each morning just to exist. <laughs> like, if I don't take my morning multivitamins, I'm fucked. If I multivitamins, it means CBD and St. John's Wort. <laughs> I think it'd be easier for me to accept my age if I actually looked like it, but I don't. I look like a digitally aged photo of a boy who's missing. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's a play would have looked like at 18 if he hadn't, you know. Uh, I feel like my body doesn't even hold on because I have the acne of a 14 year old boy and the under eye lines of a woman who's this close to solving John Penney's murder. <laughs> I am the human equivalent of an h and shirt, huge ish. Functional enough, but overall shoddy construction. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just waiting to end up in a landfill. Like Billy. <laughs> Alright, you guys have been great. I'm Connor. <laughs>